Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my Hearthstone Adventures. And in this one, we're going to be playing Silas in the mid lane. And now Silas got like a mini rework this patch. Now, even though his Wavefloor did get nerfed and it's pretty bad at the moment, I think other aspects of him did get overall buffed. For instance, his passive now has two stacks, right? It does more damage uh, to champions and stuff, essentially anything but minions. Um, your W is just overall better. Uh, your E ability gives you a bigger shield now if you actually land it, which of course is a bit harder, but it's higher risk, higher reward. And all in all, if you play him properly, especially with this build, I actually don't think he's that bad. So yeah, I don't know. Let's find out in this video, I guess. Let's see what happens. If you guys enjoy this one, don't forget to hit that like button. But let's get right into it. Let's go. Got him, baby. Don't worry. Under control. Under control. I'll flash for that shit all day. Ah, my ultimate's out, though. That's a little unfortunate. It's fine, though. Okay. 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 Well, nice. I mean, I wish I got one of those kills. That'd be nice. But, hey. Well played. Good shit. We're popping the fuck off, boys. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. We're actually popping off. I'm pretty surprised I got the silver there. She flashed. It was actually a decent flash, too. But it was like literally half a second too late. Unless it maybe just came up. But I'll take that. Kind of sad I couldn't get the Karma. Karma's hard to kill for me, man. Like, until I get more items or until I get like a Ludens Echo and more CDR, she's hard to kill. Because she's just good at sustaining damage almost. I'm going to actually stay. Wait, no, I'm not going to stay. Yeah, I'm going to stay. Literally for one wave. Wait, Karma ult is actually really good for me to steal because her cooldown is super short on her ultimate. So that means I can use my ultimate on her essentially the second my ultimate is off cooldown every single time. That's actually not bad. There's a big fight happening, but Karma might TP, so I'm going to be start looking for it. I'm looking to TP too, though. Oh, they win. I don't think they need me. Maybe? Live, baby. Live. Live, baby. Woo! And I got all the assists for that, too. Look at that. See? That's why the karma is not bad, right? I just go ahead. I use the W. I get the fatty heals. And I barely live just because of that. So that's really, really good. And again, karma's ultimate has a low cooldown, which means that I can use my ultimate on her on cooldown as well, which is also really, really nice. Woo! Look at that. I'm telling you. The bait. <laughs> Look at that! The instant double heal. Oh god, it's so good. It's actually so strong. Even though she's a little bit annoying and hard to kill, at the same time, it's also so good. Well, there's that, I guess. Uh how did that go so badly? I don't understand. Did Pike fuck something up or what happened? I think I, I accidentally pressed my W twice. After I used the Mantra W, I pressed W again by accident. Which was a bad move. Uh, which may have actually been the reason Karma lived, to be honest. I got fucking... Holy shit, I got Chain CC. Okay, I need a Marble. Holy shit, I got like literally Chain CC'd up the ass by that Malkai. I couldn't fucking move. I could have killed the server so easy. All I had to do is flash W here and she was dead. Nope. Doesn't matter. Now when you have a Maokai there, just on you, literally CCing you as if there's no tomorrow. Okay, nice. Good to know.
Holy fuck, I actually can't all be doing that. We have to play that so fucking slowly. The fact that that happened though was so good. Holy shit. I actually thought we were about to get shit on. That fight looks so bad. The Nautilus just jumped into the pit. Just like, yeah, come at me, boys. Just, just take me. Yo, th why? Does this Malka want to maybe die? I don't know, is that a thing? We need Executioners. That Malka is not going to die, ever. We need Executioners to kill him, or else we will literally never kill him. Yeah, Ezreal needs to get it. Like, he has to get it, or someone has to get it, or the Pike. It's a super cheap item, but we need it. Malka will never die. I have to be there committing to this. Flash over her thing. Leeson's ending it, baby! Can he end it, actually, in time, though? I'm just making this Malka and not be able to back. I'm pretty sure I kill him soon. GG. <laughs> GG! Nice, that was, a good, that was actually a pretty good game. That was actually a pretty good game. I want to check out the damage done. I'm actually kind of curious. How much damage did I do? Tell me, man. If you get like a, a game where at least the ultimates are not that bad, like you can play Silas and you can do perfectly fine, man. It's just it's just a matter of do you have decent ultimates at least to steal? That's the biggest question. But let's see what happens this game, or uh, let's see let's see what happens in the damage done here. Yeah, not bad actually. Almost the second highest in the game. Only somehow beaten by fucking Malkai of all champions, but beat the server and beat everyone else on my team other than this Ezreal who just stands in the back throwing cues pew 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 right but either way guys I'm telling you Salas is still definitely a good so hope you enjoyed it and let's go on to the next game let's go and this bot lane though is just decimating them dude absolutely fucking decimating them here play it slow Proc the red buff. Oh, I got him, boys. Don't worry. I got him. See, the cool thing is there is all I have to do is ult the trundle after he ults me. He ults me. He gets all my stats. I ult him back, and I take all his shit after that. It's fucking sick. Hey, okay. Now we get assists. Okay, like everyone like had flash. The second I went in, everyone had fucking flash. Are you serious? That's so unfortunate. Got her, baby. Oh, baby, let's go. Okay, we're smurfing on these kids right now. I'll tank it, Tara. She can't hold me. She has no hold. Woo! Give me up, boys. Give me up, boys. And the heal from the Triumph. Oh, baby. Wait, don't tower. Tower goes on me, I'm dead. Woo! Damn, this game is actually hypey. Holy shit, this game is hypey. This game is, like, unbelievable. Okay, we're chilling, though. We're chilling. Almost got level 11, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out. I, I need to... I want to heal. Wait, people rage quit. Lol. The top of Navy carry rage quit. Oh, this is awkward. Here. Wow. They literally rage quit because we stomped them so hard all across the map. That's pretty sad. Lol. If this guy, I have Yasuo. If, if the Thresh can land the Q on the Soraka or Flay, I can go in. Oh. GG. Yeah, well, I mean, there you go. Silas, apparently. He's still Silas. He's still Silas. His damage is still crazy. His W is so good now. So good. Alright guys, for this game we're playing Ezreal, or rather uh, anime Ezreal down in the bot lane with uh, Yumi support. Now, I think Yumi support is pretty busted, so I'm pretty curious to see how this is going to go. We have two smurfs on our team, apparently. Uh, the Yumi and the Kha'Zix are duo Q smurfs, so fingers crossed on that. I mean, I usually have pretty bad luck with smurfs now that I think about it, but uh, yeah, hopefully this game goes better. But either way guys, let's focus up, let's win. 
If we win this game, we're over 100 LP, so let's go. What do we do about that? What the fuck? My E didn't actually like go away from the Leona though. That's pretty upsetting. Like I eat away, but it didn't actually like fully, I guess, kind of E away from her. I don't know why. They're all in is like disgusting though. Like Tristana and Leona all in is fucking nasty. Wait, it's up already? There we fucking go, boys! There we go! The Yu Mi ultimate- the Trishan actually griefed that pretty hard. She jumped, jumped in and she just got shit on. Instantly. Okay, nice. Finally got Icebring Gauntlet. Fuck yeah, dude. Holy shit. 20 years later. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. Ow. I should have fucking went in. I actually didn't think that the. I actually didn't think Yumi ult was gonna hit the least in three times there to stun. So I actually wasn't ready for that. Fuck, I actually didn't think it will hit him. I don't think he'll get CC'd by it. I thought he'll walk out before he'll get CC'd. Best AD carry? Huh? the best AD carry right there coming at you boys let's go wait do we are we doing this that was fucking sick that Velkos got caught out super fucking hard there it was really good for us all right I'm gonna go for Luden Zeko I still really really like the Luden Zeko build so I'm gonna go for it The best AD carry, I told him, man. <laughs> the best ADC in the North American server, right here. Reporting for duty, boys and girls. Okay, let's go. Okay. Nice. Good W. Whew. I'm not going to lie, I was getting a little bit worried that game. I got camped unbelievably hard, but hey, we came back strong. Got that one pick on the Zerath. Got a triple kill. Became really strong off of that as well. So, yeah. That's why I love, that's why I love Ezreal, man. Just, as long as you upgrade the mirror mana fast enough and don't troll, you're still strong. All right, guys, for this game, we uh, we got the spicy autofill. We got awful to the worst role for me, which is, of course, going to be the jungle role. I don't play jungle at all. I don't like this role. I don't know what the hell I'm doing on it, but we got autofill, so you kind of just have to get it out of the way. Uh, would have preferred top lane or bot lane, or rather AD uh, support, but you know what? Beggars can be choosers. Let's fucking go. We'll, we'll do our best. We'll make it work. Let's go, boys. So looking at the game, uh, the win condition is going to be... I mean, I want, I'm probably going to camp bot. I think, I mean, the meta is just really bot lane focused, so I do want bot lane to get ahead, so I'm... Probably gonna try looking for a bot. Hey, okay, let's go bot lane. 
That's the bottom I like to see in my games. Okay. Good shit. The drama's already ganking? What the fuck? not too bad actually that was a that was actually pretty decent that was actually pretty fucking decent i got two kills there too that's actually i'll take that dude <laughs> fucking take that no problem i need to get level six asap so i want to go this and then go to red buff get that because i do want to get level six as soon as possible so i can start uh being a bit more useful overall and stronger in general now i'm not really sure if i should evolve w first or q first i know w evolve is like incredibly fucking broken so I kind of want to go W evolve first. I think it might be better. Considering I'm not like uh, obviously a really good jungler, I think going that. Wait, that vein is actually trolling. Why can I not use my fucking E ability? I mean, Nala's got a shot down, I guess. Dude, what the fuck? I, I literally couldn't even E the whole time because I'm just CC'd so fucking non like nonstop, literally. Almost got the Nala's too. That was actually really close. Oh, there we go, boys. There we go. That's what we needed right there. Okay. Yo, where's the Herald, actually? Hello? Wait, did someone already take the Herald? Or what happened to the Herald? I actually don't understand. I need level 11. I'm probably going to upgrade my Q. Actually, do I even need a Q upgrade here? I feel like I just want to get a... I don't know. Now I kind of just want to upgrade my E, honestly. Fuck the Q. I think it's just too late for the Q now. And then I killed him. Electric Q just barely enough damage to finish him off. Nice. I think we just Baron? They want to end the game? This is pretty risky. I mean, maybe they just give up at this point. Hopefully they just give up. Yeah, they gave up. Thank God. GG. Okay. And we get a win while being audible in the jungle. Hey, I got the better bot lane. That's all we really came down to. I'm telling you, this meta is 100% better bot lane wins. And my bot lane was the better bot lane, and we win the game. That's literally all it takes. I, I don't have to do anything myself. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm telling you, Silas, I do think some parts of him were definitely buffed. Like, I actually think if you play...